Spring warmth has arrived a lot earlier this year with warm spells hitting not only Seoul but also the entire country since February. Flower buds have already sprouted and in fact, in the port city of Busan, cherry blossoms have been on display last Sunday and the earliest day of a blossom in 102 years since observation began. And here in Seoul, cherry blossoms also greeted us earlier than usual also the second earliest in history. Now, moving on, here is a picture of Jeju Island submitted by one of our viewers from the island taken on Thursday. But because the flowers came so early, they've already reached their full blush, meaning the time has already come to say goodbye for this year. Now, warmer weather is behind early blooms. The more red, as you can see, the higher the temperature is compared to the average. As you can see, it's been heating up from East Asia all the way across Europe. Now, the accumulated temperature is the quantity of heat and temperature required for flowers to blossom. As of March 22nd, which, is the, which was the last Wednesday, the temperature exceeded 64 degrees Celsius, much higher than the 45 recorded in 2021, which was the record high. The temperature in March this year is 3.9 degrees higher than the average, and with the continuously bright skies, cherry blossoms in Seoul came 14 days earlier than usual. So the early blossoming put organizers of lots of festivals and events in an in uneasy situation because many of them have scheduled festivals for early April when the cherry blossoms are expected to have already disappeared. The flowers have blossomed earlier than expected, so officials from related departments like parking and roads will work from Friday to maintain order. Now, the early visit by flowers also affects the ecosystem. There will be no pollen for insects and pollination will be difficult for plants. Insects have woken up but to no flowers and nothing to eat and plant fertility is low. Global warming has now invaded our right to enjoy spring festivals and directly is hurting the ecosystem. But here in Seoul, we still have some time to enjoy the cherry blossoms and enjoy the scent of spring at the royal palaces in central Seoul. Let's take a look. As spring arrives, royal palaces are awash with colorful blossoms. Visitors to Changdeokgung Palace, one of the five major palaces from the Joseon dynasty, get to enjoy this lively season. It's been really amazing so far, being able to come see the castle, especially the cherry blossoms at the backdrop of you know all the kind of historical architecture. It's just a very calming place to be. It's, it's very nice, everyone in the traditional clothing as well. Um, so it's, it's very pretty sights, um, all the flowers, um, all, the, all the older buildings as well. It's uh, very cool to see. This time of the year, special guided tours are also available. The seasonal tour offers visitors a chance to explore the Naksanje Hall, a Korea's traditional structure that is known for beautiful architecture and stunning gardens. What's more, those who signed up for this exclusive tour can enjoy the secret garden. Standing next to the pavilion towering over the garden hill, tourists get to capture a beautiful view of the spring landscape in one glance. The tree, standing alone in the field, evokes a sense of tranquility. The famous saprika tree in the neighboring Toksugung Palace also signals a season of new beginnings. Tourists can travel back to the Joseon Dynasty during the 19-minute guided tour. A rare glimpse into the interior halls and backyards is a charm. Someone put me onto this special tour of Toksugung Palace in Seoul and I managed to snag a ticket despite it being in high demand. It was a sweet experience, being able to check out the palace's interior in more detail, including some paintings and artifacts that are usually off-limits to the public. Tours can enjoy spring scenery in the royal palaces until the first week of April. After that, the Gyeongbokgung Palace nighttime viewing tour will present beautiful whipping cherry blossoms and azaleas that brighten Seoul's night sky. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.